Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. So this is just a very brief overview into using the hands word dictionary. The first thing to mention is that this is an Arabic to English dictionary only. If you want to find out how to say the word run in Arabic, this dictionary won't be able to help you. Help you. If you want to know what jara means, you come across the word jara and you don't know what it means, then this dictionary will be able to help you. Um, the second thing to mention is that um, you won't be able to use this unless you can learn to recognize roots. Okay, on a very simple level, let's say you come across the word katabtu. Katabtu. You won't find katabtu written explicitly in this dictionary. What you will find is the root of that word kataba. Okay, so here we go. So if you see the word katabtu and you don't know what it means, you need to be able to identify that the root letters are kataba. Now that's easy with an example like this. With an example such as istaghfara, then you should be able to recognize, and eventually you will be able to recognize in a not very long, not in not very long that uh, the root letters there are ghafara in any case once you found the root letters it gives you something like this so first it will give you the Arabic and then how to pronounce it kataba and it also very helpfully and this is a really important point for uh, students gives the mudari' it gives you this letter here because from looking at kataba you can't tell whether it's going to turn into Yaktabu, yaktibu, or yaktubu in the present tense. So that's uh, it. But so this U here tells you it's going to turn into yaktubu. This will come later, um, but it gives you the masdar form, the masadir, such as kitaba. Uh, we'll speak about about that actually in the last lesson of level uh, in the last lesson of level two. Yes. Then it gives you all the different meanings so trans what does it mean kataba so to write to pen to write down put down in writing and so on to compose or even the obscure meanings it gives all of that and one more very useful thing it does is that it tells you if you use a harf jar with this uh, with this uh, with this verb what does that, how does that affect the meaning? So if you say kataba, that means he wrote. But if you say kataba ala, then it's a slightly different meaning. Okay? And uh, if you say, so kataba ala nafsihi, okay? So it means he, to be firmly resolved to make it one's duty to, and so on. So sometimes when you use harf jar with a verb, it changes the meaning slightly. So Hanzwe also gives you this. Uh, one more thing it does is um, okay. Now all the different forms of the of the verb. Um, sorry. Here we go. Okay, clear. So this won't be useful to you yet, but this is incredibly useful. So you see all these Roman numerals, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Fa'a, 2, fa'ala, 3, fa'ala, 4, af'ala. When you take root verbs and you can change them to fit the different forms, we call these the 10 forms even though technically there are more than 10 um, rare stems um, it tells you what that root verb means when it's on the different scales on the different uh, for verb forms so if you find ghafara and you look on form 10 istaf'ala it will tell you what the verb istaghfara means okay, and how it's different to um, how is different to the root so let's look at that actually now this like I said this won't necessarily be useful to you yet um, okay. 
غفارة سيرج اوكي ذيس از جاست اونلاين فيرجن سيم ثينغ هانز وير غفارة اوكي سو اف يو لوك هي غفارة اوكي ات مينز تو فورغيف بس ذن اف يو لوك اون فورم 10 اوف ذيس فيرب There it is. Uh, to ask someone's pardon. So that means to seek forgiveness. Okay, so then the verb forms, they change, them, they change the meaning. And this tells you all the different meanings of those verb forms. So, in summary, if you want, uh, just one more to add actually. If you come across, it's not only for verbs. If you come across uh, an, a noun which you don't know the meaning of, and you find the root for it, then it will still give you certain meanings associated with that. So, غفر, غفور, غفار, غفران, مغفرة, مغفور. Note that you still have to look, you have to look it up under the root. غفارة, and then it will give you مغفور. So you still need to look for things by root. That's a skill you, that you'll develop as you learn more and as your vocabulary increase, increases. So, in summary, um, this this uh, dictionary is useful as long as you can search by root and it will give you the meanings of verbs and meanings of nouns it will tell you how to conjugate verbs and it will tell you the meaning of different verbs um, on different scales um, which you're going to learn more about um, it's a simple overview if you want to read the introduction to Hanswer preface, not the preface, the introduction, then it's, uh, I, I've never read it, but it, it, it outlines a lot of useful things, um, the, uh, n the numbering system for the verb forms is very useful, um, okay, but other than that, that's just a brief overview on how to use this, I'm just trying out this new software, uh, let's see how it goes.